Alright guys, I kind of missed out on Rotom uh, for quite a while. Um, I Okay, so with Rotom, it, it always got me a little bit annoyed with the dodging. So I just kept away from Rotom and Elisa for a while. Um, but after doing more co-op and trying to find ways to get to my sync move a lot faster, because I'm using Zekrom a lot in co-op just so I could try to... Uh, level up my Pokemon a lot faster and everything like I wanted to try to come across or find strategies to help uh, beat the stages a lot faster and Of course Rotom is gonna be a very good candidate for uh, helping Zekrom get to his hit move a lot faster because of breathtaking and uh, What breathtaking does is it reduces the same countdown of an allied uh, by two uh, But like it's gonna be counting as a move itself as well. So it's gonna be reducing the counter by three which is very good, and then you get to accuracy and you get crit uh, with that as well. So, Breathtaking is a very good support type move, um, and uh, Elisa is just all around a good support type as well because she does give special attack all to everybody, and then she has Thunder, which is a good um, single target move. Um, and uh, and of course you got like Look Alive Nine, so like uh, when you get hit, you have a, you have an increase uh, to your evasiveness, so like you could start dodging and everything. But you guys know how I feel about that. <laughs> Um, but after using Breathtaking, like, it is so good. So then I decided to grid up Elisa, finally. Um, I only did it like this. Um, so, like, you got the typical stat increases, and then I, I just got Special Attack MP Refresh. And then I got, uh, MP Refresh for Breathtaking, of course. And then, uh, Breathtaking Selfless. So, uh, like, when we are low on, um, uh, like on health or whatever, like we're gonna be lowering our counter again by uh, by one stage, which is not bad. Um, but getting an MP refresh on breathtaking is gonna be very helpful. So that's what I did, and it is insane. So like we're gonna go to a battle right now, and then we're gonna go into co-op and uh, show off what uh, Sigunasu Elisa can do in uh, in like co-op when uh, when you're using her over there for. Um, uh, like to try to get your sync move a lot faster because we know co-op can be a little bit annoying at times so like of course like when you get your um your your, your sync move it's gonna be very very helpful of course so hopefully we get an mp refresh and we do so perfect <laughs> that is so good i love that so much like look at that we're already at our sync move and like it, it's so insane and like this is gonna be very helpful when uh Sigunus Elisa is six stars because then you can get your sync move super fast and get that um two sync move buff and uh, like because when you're a six star and you're a support you're gonna be getting your uh times two not times two but you're gonna be getting like uh two sync move buffs instead of one when you're six star for uh for support and uh, that's gonna be very very helpful because then you can get plus two for your sync move buff and then you can start going in with uh, your strikers for um, for your like for your sync moves, which you can do a lot of damage after your uh, after your support does your uh, your first sync move, which is going to be insane. So like Sigma Suit Elisa, I know you guys already know how good she is, but <laughs> me just finally coming across Sigma Suit Elisa and uh, finally gridding her up and seeing how good she is when you get MP refresh on Bread Taken, it is insane. Like you can beat battles so fast. And uh, with Strikers having uh, their AoE sync move, when it, like for Sigma Suit Elisa getting uh, MP refresh on Bread Taking, it is so so good. Like look how fast we're able to get to our sync move. Like it's insane. It's insane. And we got another Bread Taking from or another Bread Taking MP refresh. Like it's so so good. Um, and like this is obviously going to be very helpful in co-op. Um, and then when you have uh, uh, Sigma Suit uh, Leaf. And Venusaur that can also lower the sync move countdown by more than two as well when you're Mega Evolution. It, it like it, it like having these two on the team to help support strikers on getting their uh, sync moves. It is so so good. Like it's insane on how fast you can be battles with um, uh, with Sigma Suit Elisa um, and getting MP refreshed on that. Like it's like it's insane. <laughs> it is so good. Um, and like if you have uh, Elisa and um, uh, and Rotom. I definitely recommend trying to uh, work on them and uh, getting MP refresh on uh, bread taking as it will be very very helpful. Um, so we saw them in single player and they are so good. Uh, like we, you saw how fast we're able to get our sick move and it is insane. <laughs> and uh, and all the more reasons to uh, all the more reason that uh, Zekrom is an insane beast because we know how strong Zekrom is. And having Elisa being an electric type with Zekrom, they just complement each other very nicely because then you can get the type skill buff and everything. Like, it's just so, so good. 
Uh, but anyways, let's go to co-op and see what they can do over there. All right, so we're going up against Price, and uh, obviously we're going to be super effective, which is what we want, because then we can see how much uh, damage Zekom is going to do on his AoE sync move, um, and um, Elisa. Now, with co-op, we can't really um, like make full use of Elisa, just because we're not going to be controlling her. Now, we can have her on our team, uh, and then we could uh, do it like that. Um, so we could do it for sure like that. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go for a strength in me, uh, so at least I can go with breathtaking. Um, and then hopefully we can get an MP refresh. Um, and it didn't look like we get an MP refresh, which is kind of annoying. Um, but, uh, <laughs> that, that's what's gonna happen. It's not a high chance to get, um, uh, to get the MP refresh. It's only like a 30% chance or something like that. Um, it is still a very high chance to get the MP refresh, of course, but with uh, breathtaking being an only one-time use, um, it can be, um, like, the chance of you getting an MP refresh is low, for sure, but, uh, with it being one use only, it is a smaller chance of that happening, but, um, but yeah, so we'll come back into the battle and, uh, try to get an MP refresh. Alright, so we're back in the battle, and, uh, we're gonna do it on times two speed, um, just so we don't miss anything, like, I, like, the first time we did this in the co-op, it was on times three speed, and it was fine, um, but I just want to make sure we don't miss anything, so, uh, we did get an MP refresh, which is great, and, uh, now we're already very close to our sync move, um, now, we are flinched, um, so, I'm gonna wait till we're unflinched, then, and then, uh, use both strikes so we can get, uh, that one attack in, there we go, perfect, and then we're gonna go for our training move, so at least we can buff our, um, uh, our, our, uh, super effective hit. Of course, with Zekron's super effective hit, um, we are going to be doing even more damage, which is insane. So, like, we're already at our sync move, and uh, then we can get off our AoE um, sync move attack, which is going to be very good in co-op, of course. Like, if, if you can do this properly in co-op when you're with other people, like other players, friends, or whatever, like, the match is going to be over so, so quick. And I love just seeing Zekrom's animation. Um, and a lot of these sync pair animations, like, they do look very good for their sync moves. Um, like, okay, with the new Dawn and Serena, their sync moves look good, but the only thing that's annoying is they have the same sync move animation, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, with Rotom, you can use Rotom on literally any kind of team, and, uh, you can get that, uh, MP refresh to activate, and then, uh, especially with Strikers having the AoE sync move, it's gonna be very helpful, so, like, if you wanna see, uh, Mega Swampers, uh, Mega Evolution, uh, you could definitely do that uh, with the MP refresh for uh, breathtaking. Like it's just so so good. Like we we could even bring in Swamper right here, and uh, like Swamper, we know how strong Swamper is, so he's gonna have no problem in this stage, obviously. So we're, we'll bring in Swamper, and uh, we'll get our Mega Evolution in with uh, with Swamper, and then have breathtaking with Elisa, because I don't want to just show Zekrom every single time. Like every time I'm trying to like show off an Electric type or whatever. So why not Swamper to May? <laughs> <laughs> They're one of the newest uh, sinkers in the game, so like why not? Um, so we're gonna get off breathtaking and we'll try to stall out as much as we can and hopefully we can get an MP refresh But still even if we don't get an MP refresh, that's still gonna be fine and we did perfect nice 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 And we're very close to our sync move already So then we're gonna bust a rain dance and then we should have our uh, sync move um, After one attack after one attack and then we will so yeah <laughs> There we go we got Rain Dance up, and then we got uh, Electric Terrain, so that's actually cool. Imagine having a full line of just effects on the field. <laughs> that would be nuts, but there we go. We got our Sync move with uh, May and Swamper, and then in the rain, they're just going to be insane. Like, it's just so good. Like, Rotom and Elisa are just so good when it comes to this kind of uh, help in battle, because getting Mega Evolutions off as soon as possible in battle helps so much, and just in general, getting off Sync Moves uh, help you in battle regardless, because the, the, the amount of damage that you could do after a Sync Move is so good, or, or very beneficial, that, like, it's just gonna help you no matter what. Um, and, like, okay, we... <laughs> Of course, we have to get uh, frozen uh, when we were going to attack with uh, Swamper after Mega Evolution, but <laughs> what are you going to do? Sometimes that will happen, but but you guys see how good uh, Rotom is. You guys probably already know that I'm late to the party, but <laughs> what can you do? You Sometimes you're late, sometimes you're early, but um, I, I found this out um, the hard way or the long way, so... <laughs> 
But I love Rotom and Elisa now. Um, like before, like if you guys watch my videos, like um, like like if you watch my videos in the past, like you know that <laughs> I have my gripes with uh, Rotom and, and Elisa. But now, no, 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 no. Now that I um I uh, syncreated them. I like them so much. I like them so much. And it just makes battles so much more fun because I can get Mega Evolutions off a lot more easier. Like, it's just great. <laughs> it's just great. But, uh, but anyways, that's going to be it for the video. I just wanted to showcase Signa Suit, Elisa, and Rotom. Um, they can go to six stars, of course. Um, so that's going to make them even better because we know supports when they are six star, um, they, give, they give you a... Uh, uh, two sync move buff instead of one when they're sync uh, when they're uh, six stars, which is gonna be which breathtaking is gonna be so much better when they're six star, of course, because then you could use your first sync move with Elisa, get that two sync move buff, and then uh, and then uh, if you get MP refreshes, then you can go with another breathtaking to get your uh, sync move a lot faster, so that your strikers can do a bunch of damage. So six star Elisa is gonna be amazing I'm definitely gonna work on getting them there eventually but uh, right now they're gonna have to stay there because <laughs> there's a lot of sync pairs that are coming to the game that I definitely want to get six stars but uh, but anyways that's gonna be it for the video I just wanted to showcase them let me know what you guys think of Elisa and Rotom if you have them three out of five five out of five or max out at six stars let me know in the comments below what you think of Elisa and Rotom now that I've actually gridded them up, I love them. They're actually very, very fun to use. Um, they're very helpful. And the, the dodgy mechanic that they have, I'm, I'm still 50-50 on that. But uh, besides that, they're very good. And that'll be it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.